My people, wonder shall never end. Hey, according to the information written us right now, they said Auntie Aguira have finally landed herself in a serious trouble again after launching a fresh attack on Queen Naomi. And they said Auntie Blue Blue exposed her. Allegedly, we know we know that uh, you see all of these uh, guards, staff, drivers, them. You might be thinking that they are working with you. But another person is, another owner is paying them a huge amount of money to spy you and give feedback to another owner. And that is their major problem in that palace, seriously. I don't blame uh, 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 the people that say KBC fired all the guards within a twinkle of an eye to replace them because they are not trustworthy. Because I don't see the reason why someone will be in her apartment or anywhere she is and make calls. Someone that is in another place will hear about the call. <laughs> anyway, on the other side, I will say that it is God's doing, you know. Because when God wants to expose you, how it will happen, it will shock you, it will surprise everyone. So guys, according to the information they said, uh, 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 see yesterday we heard that uh, Queen Naomi was coming out from the palace and uh, was attacked by some hoodlums. Uh, even though they did not hurt her, but they said they, they did something to her car and she ran out, she ran away from that car when the thing was too much. The security guard, those people that attacked her, they overpowered the security guards because it's like maybe it was just one or two of them. But the people that attacked her was many and this happened while she was coming out from the palace, you know. So, and the second BSC was angry. They were still doing an uh, investigation. To find out how that happened. Not knowing that uh, what happened happens from the palace. Or the person that attacked her was coming from the palace. My people, this life, no balance at all. And from the information we are getting right now, we heard that uh, this uh, Auntie Egbuda and Auntie Blue Blue, they are partners in crime, yes. They are working hand in hand to achieve their success of ensuring that Penomi did not return back to the palace. But after this issue of a divorce, because the CKBSA have stated it that their marriage with them might not continue. And they have been going over it. He wanted to divorce the two of them. And ever since then, they said uh, they have been trying to convince CKBSA that they have changed. Especially Blow Blow. But this Antique Bila, eh, she is so, uh, how like, what, which word would I, so jealous she is so jealous that she can go extra mile to ensure that Penomi did not return back to the palace. Of course, we have heard it before now that she said that it is going to be over her by body. Would she allow Penomi to return back to the palace? Because she has she have now seen herself as the first wife of Kabiesi, as the Eyolua of the source. So eventually, if Penomi uh, returns back to the palace, she is going to lose that post. And... Now, those people that she has been bragging to, someone like uh, Lady Bad Moose, they are going to mock her. They are going to love the living day life out of her. As a matter of fact, <laughs> if she is not careful enough, it might lead her into the preparation to stroke buying herself. Because you know that when you are too jealous, when you are jealous, you, you lose your sense of reasoning. Yes, so to know that this man got married to this woman before me. And not only did he go married to her, she have a son for him. So, and definitely, because Kabiesi is that one man that wouldn't want another person to raise her, his son, he wouldn't want Gwenomi to go. You know? So, but when they take it from that direction, they will know that this thing is as easy as ABC. But because they want to show Gwenomi that you are just a small girl and we are big ladies with big name, money, and all of that affluence, we can fight and win you. It's not Gwenomi's fight, though. That is one thing they don't know. This fight is for the God. It's uh, a God of Queen Naomi's fight, not Queen Naomi's fight. Because if it is for Queen, if it is Queen Naomi's fight, Queen Naomi cannot even get anything from it. As a matter of fact, they will buy her. But because it is her God who is fighting for her, because the, the fight is not of her, but of her God, that is why you see all of these great uh, rich women losing in this battle. You know? So, they said... Uh, when this thing happened, uh, Auntie Blue Blue, who is looking for every opportunity to make KBSC know that she has changed or to convince KBSC to still have attention towards her, 
They say she ran to KBSC to tell KBSC that she knows exactly where the attack of yesterday on Queen Naomi was coming from. They said when KBSC asked her, where is it coming from? Are you sure you know what you are saying? They said it was uh, from Antigua. KBSC was shocked. Then how did you know that it was from Antigua? They said that uh, his driver, as in her driver, get uh, give uh, uh, blow blow all the information that she needed that he overheard her making a call telling the guys that did that job to make sure that they do a great job oh, that she doesn't want to anybody to come and be dragging the lower post with her that they should as a matter of fact their plan was to buy her but god saved her and they said when this guy overheard her making the call the guys the guy started recording it it was the recorded one that they sent to blow blow that she went to meet kbsc with and they say kbsc was shocked he was like so this woman can go as far as doing this you know all the spiritual fight they have been launching on queen Naomi, that one never do them yeah so this time around it has gotten to the point of going uh physical yeah they said KBSC did not believe it though. KBSC did not believe it. But why won't he believe it if this information is true? See, before we proceed, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. And I am not in any way related to KBSC and his people, okay? Uh -huh. And subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share my video. So they said, while she was telling uh, KBSC this... this uh, uh information kbsc asked her why didn't you tell me before now they said uh, she she told kbsc that it was that day it was few minutes ago that uh her driver i mean antibira's driver sent this to to antibloblo and kbsc was inquisitive why would he send it to you is, is it that is it that he is working for you or working for Antigua. He told she told KBS that KBS should not uh, bother about that. What matters is that they have evidence against this person, so that if she is considering who to who to divorce, he will know and have evidence. That what matters most is evidence. You know that they have been talking about divorce, divorce, and a lot of people are saying that you don't have any evidence against them. That this is a concrete evidence. Hey, my people, when I hear this news, I said, now nah, wow. God of Phenom is in action. Now, so God go expose all of them. All of them. Very soon, they will still get evidence against anti blue blue because we do know that they are fighting their own. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. And, also, and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, they are all rumored information from Amibo headquarters. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I love you guys.